Hey everyone, I'm going to give you something to think about right now. As a concert photographer, does your work have value? Does it have value now? Five minutes from now? Five years from now? Ten years from now? Fifteen years from now? Thirty years from now? Even all the way up to fifty years from now? It's something you need to think about because as concert photographers, in a lot of cases, we not only just capture the band or you're thinking I'm going to just take photographs of, of my favorite musicians or whatever and that's all there is to it you need to think about you're capturing a moment in time and history and in some cases it's very important who what and when and where you capture these people doing what they do I'm Robert Maxfield and I've been a concert photographer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for over 45 years and I've photographed some of the greatest bands in history. Many of these bands like Fleetwood Mac with Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, uh, Paul Rogers and Bad Company, Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth have set things as moments in time, actual history history and the, capturing this history is very important. As a general rule, I never used to photograph anybody more than two times. Two is my limit. I'd always try to capture everybody just once, and it wasn't until probably I shot 38 Special that I'd captured somebody more than once. Today, I capture people several times, depending on what I'm doing, uh, work for them or work about them. So it's a little more common, but there for a long, long time, I was very, very picky and, cho and chose exactly who I wanted to photograph. Uh, most of the people I photographed ended up making very, very specific points in time and made history. Many of the great concert photographers in history have those photographs that are just certain points in time. Uh, prime example is Jim Marshall's photograph of Johnny Cash given one for the warden at Folsom Prison. Uh, it's iconic. It's part of history. It talks and says volumes about the, the time in Johnny Cash. If you look at uh, Robert M. Knight's photographs of Led Zeppelin on the tarmac in Honolulu, that moment in time, uh, Garrett Mankovich's photograph of Jimi Hendrix and those kind of photographs are very very important but what are their values? What are they worth? How can they be replaced? They're irreplaceable. They're, they're priceless. And now when you think about it maybe just maybe some of the work that you do as a concert photographer in this day and age may have the same effect. It all depends on who you shoot when you shoot them, why you shoot them, and the value that you place on them. Making sure that what you're doing captures the moment it can be very, very, very rare. Some of the photographs I have shot capture that moment in time. This is Fleetwood Mac, and you can see Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham in this photograph. There is currently less than five of these printed. This is my original Chuck Berry. Notice it has his autograph right below it. One of the great founding people in, the, in rock and roll music, his photograph hangs on my wall that I took many, many years ago. What's its actual value? Is it worth anything to anybody? Who knows? Another shot here. This shot is a bad company with Paul Rogers. Very, very few of these have I actually printed. What is its actual value? Don't know. It may depend. Would it have been really cool to have been at the Texas Jam and saw Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth? I got to photograph them. In this case, the photograph may be priceless. Next to them sits 
Sam Kinison, a comedian. This was done at the Dallas Arcadia, probably the mid-early 80s. Does it have any value? Maybe. This one I shot, I was kind of a little bit wondering if it would be anything that would be worthwhile doing. But this is Elvis Costello in my photograph called Blue. People tell me this is exactly the essence of Elvis Costello. This is Ted Nugent live in Fort Worth, Texas. All the photographs I've just shown are parts in time, they're history. Some of my photographs appear from time to time in various publications, online, things like that. Some of my photographs are the very first Texas Jam in 1978, where it was 110, 115 degree heat, 135,000 people. And um, those kind of things are, are, are very historic because it was a huge concert in Dallas in the middle of the summer in the heat. And a lot of people still remember it. But what is the actual value of this type of work, of this photograph? Somebody out there somewhere will look at this and say, that's history and will want it or need it or something uh, and appreciate the actual work itself. So, what I want you to do, I'd like you to do, is think about your work. Be selective when you select somebody to take a photograph of. Okay? They may, in, in the future, they may right now be somebody that is very big name, maybe the future thing upcoming. Uh, it's, it's a little difficult to tell because... Um, in some cases, in some ways, the music that I photographed is dead to a lot of people. Rock and roll is no longer. It's, it's unfortunate. And in some cases, it's, it's blossoming and it's growing. So it depends on your outlook. But think about who you photograph. Take in, store all your stuff, regardless of what you think of them now at the present time. They may become something historic and you may have them in the early days, or they may be a historic right now. Be selective of who you photograph uh, when you pick people to photograph. Just don't photograph anybody for, for no reason at all. Um, when I do select who I'm going to photograph, no matter how big the name or how small the name, uh, I photograph them for a reason, and, um, and I put some thought into it. So I know from what I read and things like that, people just go out and they photograph a band and, that's it, and that's all they do with it. And uh, they have no idea what's going to become of the photographs. And then 20, 30 years from now, they sit back and they go, Oh, God, man, they are just, I, that's unbelievable. I look back at some of the photographs that I did of people like Simon and Garfunkel uh, live. I look at some of the photographs of Yes, various other groups and bands, Boston, Heart, uh, that I photographed in the past. And today... A lot of these photographs are historic moments in time. Who would, who would they be of value to? They're of value to me. Hopefully some people will find them of value to them. I, I'm starting to release them and start to share them. And um, hopefully a lot of people will be out there and enjoy them. Speaking of enjoyment, hey, our channel is growing. I'd like to thank you for showing up and watching our video. If you find anything you like, man, hit that like button. You know, subscribe, um, put the notification bell out there, bang, 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 bing, bong, whatever. And, uh, and stay up to date with our videos because we produce some really, really different and unusual videos uh, regarding uh, concert and music photography. No one else will do this kind of stuff. Uh, so please, if you like anything, man, subscribe. It helps us out a ton. And uh, we appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>